Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um, my name's Sam and I mainly do travel and lifestyle videos. Um, so today is a very special one. I'm currently in Orlando in Florida. Um, so we arrived here last night around 5 p.m. Uh, we went straight to the outlet mall. We only had two hours because the outlet mall closed at nine. Now the shopping outlet, we went to um, Orlando Premium Outlets. Um, it had shops like Nike, Adidas, Victoria's Secrets, uh, Calvin Klein, um, there, were, there were loads actually. Um, but because we only had two hours, we literally only went in the sports shops. Um, Damien got quite a few bits, um, I didn't get anything to be honest. Um, and then straight from there we went to a place called um, City Walk. Now that's a place full of bars and restaurants, it's in Universal. Um, you don't need a ticket to get in. Um, but it's great, it's full of like bars, souvenir shops, um, but it was so, so busy, it was insane. Now on the first night we came to Big Fire American Fair and um, it saw lots of steaks, burgers, meats, all done on this beautiful open fire in the kitchen. Um, now we walked in as a walk-in, um, which is quite risky because the place gets so busy, they do highly recommend to book reservations. However, as it was the first night, we didn't know that. So if you are going, book ahead. I've decided to go for a cheeseburger tonight. They really fancy the fries and it came with them. Um, and Damien has got salmon and vegetables. But I didn't realize that um, we're now like the 30th of June and 4th of July is in a few days and like this weekend is is like the 4th of July weekend so everywhere's going to be crazy crazy busy um so now this morning when I woke up I booked tickets to go to Harry Potter now thinking it's going to be quicker if I book them online however I've booked them I've paid it was $402 including taxes for um two adult tickets which I think, to be honest, is quite daylight robbery um, for one day. So $402 for two adults for one day. Now, with Universal for Harry Potter, you need the two park passes. Um, and then my understanding is you can ride on the um, Hogwarts Express between the two parks if you don't want to walk. Um, and when I booked them online through the main website, it said you get a, a confirmation email. Um, however, I've got my order number, but I've got nothing in my email box. So I'm just a little bit concerned now. When I try and book things online, it always goes wrong. If I order pizza delivery, it, it didn't arrive. So um, why I thought I could book tickets for this, I have absolutely no idea. Um, but hopefully we're going to have a great day. It's half seven now in the morning. Um, I'm up, ready, showered, ready to go. Damien's just getting showered now. Um, and then we're gonna go down to Starbucks, I think, and then head over there. The parks, as far as I'm aware, don't open until nine o'clock, but um, I wanna get this ticket sorted. So we're now in the Uber on the way to Universal. Um, so it's about quarter past eight now. Um, it's about a seven minute car ride over there. <laughs> we have to go through security and um, just double check all your bags before you get into the park just for security measures Yay, we made it. We're now in the park. Um, we're just going to try and find our way over now um, to the Hogwarts Express straight away and try and get over to that park before it starts to get too busy. I mean, it's already busy, don't get me wrong, but I think the later in the day, it's just going to get busier and busier and busier. And with the heat, I really don't want to be standing for such a long time in the queues um, because the heat is unbearable. And that's saying that for me coming from Dubai. Um, I am used to hot weather, but here it's just literally sweltering. I don't think we're going the right way. 
At this point, we don't really know where we're going. Um, we've just got into the park and we decided to come in this direction purely because it looks shaded. Um, so we're trying to find our way now to the Hogwarts Express. Um, there's a little bit of breeze now as well this way, so it's delightful. Um, as I say, I am used to the hot weather coming from Dubai. Oh, the heat here, wow, it's, uh, it's very hot. Especially, for example, when we were stood in line to get in. Um, there were like no shade. So it was just pure direct sun and we were literally sweltering. Um, so hopefully now we'll be able to find our way, get on the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, here we are, look. Leicester Square. So I think we go down the side of here somewhere. Oh wow, we're now in Diagon Alley. There's We have Gringotts, the bank. So we've now found the one shot. However, to get in, there is a massive, massive queue. Since 382 um, BC, <laughs> here the one chooses. The wizard, young wizard, you are here for your one. What is your name? Justin. Justin, over here. So I miss you. So now Damien is just choosing which one that he likes. Um, the ones were absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, I went in expecting to be impressed by them, to be honest, but they are absolutely beautiful. And the boxes are becoming as well. Thank you. So on the ones, on some of them, like this is Rain Weasley's one. He's two. And then up here we have Arthur Weasley's one. It's really, really cool. So Damien at the minute is trying to find um, Albus Dumbledore's wand. Um, oh, this is Harry Potter's. This is Harry Potter's wand. It's kind of ugly. So this one is um, Harry Potter's wand. Um, so this one belongs to Harry Potter. So these are the ones here. Um, they're absolutely beautiful in real life. And just the detailing is so fine. Wow. So it seems that Dumbledore one is very, very popular. Um, this is the one that's hardly got any left, to be honest. The other ones are all pretty much full. Um, apart from Dumbledore's. So Damien was after the correct one all along. This is the Gringotts Money Exchange. Um, I'm just really curious on what happens inside here. So we found King's Cross. This is where platform nine and three quarters is, and this is where you ride on the uh, Hogwarts Express. I'm so excited, I can't actually believe I'm here. This is the Hogwarts Express, now I'm just pulling into the station. We're on platform nine and three quarters. So this one is made. 
and now we're going into Hogsmeade, which is another park of, it's a separate park to the one we were in earlier. Um, that's where you get off the, uh, the train of the Hogwarts Express. Look at this, how beautiful it is. In all the little shops over here, if you use your wands in the windows, it makes you do magic in the windows. And this is what all the little crowds around the windows are doing, they're actually doing magic. So I bought my wand earlier to do the tricks in the windows absolutely impossible I can't make any of them work I'm beginning to think that I've got a dodgy wand um, because none of them have worked at all Damien's managed to do a couple with his wand um, but I can't do it this is Hogwarts Castle it's absolutely beautiful it's bigger as well than what I imagined it would be but wow so apparently this ride um, for the castle um, it's got a wait time at the minute of like 30 minutes, which is really, really good. Um, you can also walk through it. So we're going to walk through it and see what it's like. Um, and then if we like the look of it, we're going to actually go on it. To be honest, both of us don't actually like rides. Um, so this is an okay one for us to walk through to see how we get on. Actually, we had a change of plan. Um, we're not actually going to walk through that ride now because whether you walk through the ride or actually go on the ride, um, you still have to queue in the same line. So rather than walk through and then go on it, um, it's like one or the other. So we now just have another quick stop. Um, we've just come inside. It's absolutely roasting outside still. Um, I've just got water and a coat. Damien's got a beer. The hilarious thing is, it's just been asked for ID. Like, this golden oldie. Been she, she's jealous because they think I'm younger than her. No way, no way. <laughs> now in Sugar Plum, and I've got their famous chocolate frog. Um, these are thirteen dollars each, or three for thirty-three dollars um, in a normal box or you can get a keepsake box for $25 for one. The shop is so busy. Um, I think people are taking like souvenirs back home and things like that but it's absolutely beautiful. Look how insane this looks. Honestly it's so good. So this donut place is absolutely amazing. We first passed it last night and they were queuing outside to get in. So today when I'm just passing it and it's not so busy, I couldn't help but not go in. It's super delicious, and Damien just got a beer. Cheers. Delicious. This ride looks absolutely amazing. We're just walking through the park again now. This is just what you need on such a hot day. As well, there is dryers in the parks as well. Um, just in case you do go on rides like this and do get wet, you can get dried. Thank 
club bar called uh, Vino. Again, it's Institute Walk, still in Universal. Um, we're going to have an early dinner. Um, we're trying to kill some time actually because there's a, a show tonight at 9 pm that I'd like to watch. Um, and then we can only get a reservation um, after 9.30 or at like 8. But if we had it at 8 o'clock, then I wouldn't have had time to go watch the show that I want to watch tonight. So we'll basically come for an early dinner and then hopefully by the time we finish dinner we'll be able to go watch the show and then go back to the hotel. So now the main course has just arrived. Um, we're still in Vino. Uh, Damien went with the tagliata and I've got the lasagna. The portions in here are absolutely huge and the food does look really good. So we're now just waiting for the final show of the evening. Um, it's meant to be a fireworks show at 9pm. Um, it's about 8.30 now and we're really struggling to keep awake. Um, but as soon as it's just half an hour to wait, we're gonna hold tight here. Um, but we're absolutely exhausted. Um, so we're just gonna watch this show now and then we're gonna head back to the hotel. Um, but I'm literally just sat on a bench, just waiting for these fireworks. I can't stand any longer. It feels I've just been walking and walking and walking um, for hours. I mean, we have because we got to the park this morning at like half past eight. Um, it opened at nine. Um, but we've literally done the full day. Um, it closes after the, these fireworks are finished. Um, so we literally have done the whole day. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted because of the jet lag as well. back at the hotel I'm absolutely exhausted um, so I'm gonna leave this vlog here thank you so much for watching and I'll have another one for you very very soon